Hi guys. All right, so this is another video. Don't mind my um, stuff right there. I decided to clean the rest of the room up and didn't realize you could see my shoes in a Mac bag. Oh well. <laughs> this is a video about my dreadlocks. I gotten a lot of questions about my dreadlocks in my personal life and also online and I decided to do a little video about my experience thus far. I do not speak for the entire locked community. I am only one person doing my own journey and right or wrong, this is how it's been going for me. And I'm gonna be putting pictures uh, from the beginning to where I am now. So if you would like to stay tuned, I will go over products, ins and outs, and pros and cons. I am biracial, so I am Swedish, Dutch, and Ethiopian. So my hair is a very interesting texture, a lot of different things going on in it. Um, I also live in Florida, which it's humid here all the time, like 24 seven. So no matter what style that I tried to do, it was ruined. No matter, as soon as I walked outside, anything I did to my hair was done. The humidity here is out of control. Uh, no matter what style I did, if I was wearing my, my, my big curls, it would instantly turn into an afro as the second I stepped outside. Same thing with straight hair, forget about it. It was just so hard to have straight hair when your hair is naturally curly in Florida. So I was just tired of all the damage, all the fuss, over the, all the hassle. I did some research. I had my sister install them for me, which took about seven hours. Dreads were installed by the twist and rip method. So she took pieces of my hair, she twisted them, ripped them, created like this fuzz, and then she took a crochet needle, which looks like this. This is one that's a 1.1, and she crocheted the little loose hairs in. And over time, they matured into these kind of locks that I have now. I did brush out the tips. I like my tips to be a little bit loose. I like the little bit of length that I get here, and also it helps them dry a lot faster. So let's get into the products, and then I'll go into the pros and cons. So the products that I love to use on my dreadlocks, um, I'll start off with shampooing. So keeping your hair and your scalp clean and nice like really does help your hair lock up properly. All right, so I wash my hair um, once a week. I deep clean with apple cider vinegar, um, lemon juice, salt. Um, I think that's all I put in that mixture once a month just to make sure that it penetrates the core of my dreads to get out anything like any kind of residue that might be in there and it really makes them squeaky clean like, like beautifully clean. So that's a really nice treat but you don't want to do it too often you don't want to dry out your, your hair like that. So once a, once a month is fine with that. For my once a week washing, I use two different things. I use Dr. Bronner's, this is the lavender um, soap. I don't use it like this, I actually dilute it um, with water in a little bottle like that with a nozzle so I can get in between my dreads really easy. So this is about half of the soap and half water. And this is my like really like scrubbing my scalp, getting really clean and it smells amazing. If you love lavender, which I love essential oils, it's fantastic. Um, and then I use one more for a little bit more moisture and just like, for like the lingering smell. So then I do, like before I get out of the shower, go over one more time with this Dolly Lock product, which I have a, quite a few of their products. This is my favorite brand for locked hair care. And so I use the Noctrompa in that, which leaves my hair smelling beautiful. It smells like incense. It's, it's amazing. It's also very moisturizing. So this one, Dr. Bronner's can be kind of drying. This one is more moisturizing. I'll go through my scalp, whatever's left, I'll kind of just brush through my dreads with my hands. And there's that. I towel dry my hair. Um, I squeeze out as much um, water as I can. I don't wring my hair, I'm not trying to break my locks. I'm just gonna squeeze it out a little bit and then I wrap it up in a towel for like five minutes. Good to go, do my makeup, do whatever I do, get dressed. And then I let it down and then it's down for the rest of the day. So I don't use traditional conditioner. I don't wanna have anything that's like white and like creamy inside of my hair that sounds terrible. It's gonna leave residue. I want my dreads to be like nice and airy. So what I use as conditioner are my oils. So this is a base oil of avocado and castor oil, which I use jojoba oil, which is really great. You can use sweet almond oil. You can use all kinds of different oils as a base. And then I use a couple of um, essential oils, which I have a huge little, huge bucket of small ones to try out. The ones I like are lavender, peppermint, eucalyptus, 
uh, lime, tea tree is a big one, rosemary, those ones like keep my scalp feeling nice and clean and moisturized. So I don't have like dry locks. Right now they're looking a little dry, but I haven't done it yet. So don't judge me. <laughs> so yeah, and it comes in a little nozzle that looks like this. It's a little dropper. I just drop it in between my sections of my hair and I just massage it in with my, the pads of my fingers. We'll let that completely dry. It takes about a day to kind of completely dry fully, which four hours, it's pretty much dry, but just to make sure that I'll have any kind of you know, I don't run any risk of having mold or anything. I let it down and I let it dry for a complete day. And then it's, it's, it's nice. All right, so those are my washing products. First show you my refreshing spray in this awesome little spray bottle. Um, and then my dialog sticker. Um, I use this with distilled water and I also fill it up with a little bit of glycerin. So a little bit of glycerin just to help retain moisture into my hair because I do tend to have dry hair. So that's all I put in the bottle. Glycerin, a little bit of essential oils, but it's mainly just distilled water. Just this, this is what I use kind of like when I wake up and I'm trying to like reset my part or I want my hair to be hydrated. I just do a couple little sprays on the top, a little bit in between, and it just really helps my hair just to absorb the moisture and helps it look, look nice and like re refreshed and, and soft. I invested in a couple like styling products for locks from Dolly Locks, which I don't know if I will um, repurchase just because I was drawn to this hairstyle because I wanted something that was effortless. Something I didn't have to fuss with my hair for hours on end, which is it's terrible to me. I don't want to have to do my hair. So I do have a couple other products that I use when I get out the shower and I want to kind of palm roll my hair. Palm rolling is where you just take a lock and you kind of go like that with your hands. What it does is it helps it keep its nice like round shape. I do have a couple little lumps and bumps, for, but for the most part, I don't have very many because when my hair is wet, I will palm roll it. So I want to keep it into that shape. And when it's wet, it kind of dries the whatever shape that it's in. So I do have two different things that I like to do that with. I have aloe vera gel, 99% um, aloe vera, just natural. And I do have this Dolly Locks um, coconut lime and aloe gel. I will use this one, the more natural one, over the Dolly Locks one. I feel like the Dolly Locks one, I don't know how to really use it. And I feel like sometimes I use too much and my hair will get flaky. And I don't want flakes in my dreads. So I don't think I will be repurchasing this just because I'm too heavy handed for it. And I just don't. It just, it feels like it's more work. I don't know if I will be repurchasing this. Once it's gone, it's gonna be gone and I'm gonna stick with my aloe vera gel. It's cheaper and also, like I said, it doesn't leave flakes like this one tends to do. I did invest in a little trial size of the Dolly Locks, uh, like coconut pomade. I didn't know what I was gonna use this for. I would take it out a little bit um, and then kind of do the same thing where I put it through my hair, but I don't feel like it did anything and it just added another unnecessary element to my regimen that I don't, I didn't sign up for. But what I do love and live by it are these the tightening sprays from Dolly Locks? It really does help all those loose hairs kind of go into the lock. It's also perfume for your hair. I have the scent of Dragon's Blood and Nog Champa. Nog Champa is my favorite in almost everything. It just have sea salt, so it does kind of like make the hairs kind of go into the lock. It just smells great. It does feel a little strange the, after the first day that you put it in. It kind of feels stiff like hairspray, but after a while, um, like the next day, it kind of works through and it, you don't feel that stiffness in your locks anymore. I have this to kind of thank for my locks to maturing as fast as they did is because of this stuff. It really did help me out a lot and I love, love, love this product. I do have crochet needles that I use sometimes if I really need to like do some reconstruction on a dreadlock if there's a thin spot or anything like that. Sometimes I'll go in and I'll just kind of tighten it up a little bit. I try not to use these a lot. They're very damaging to your locks. So this is not something I use all the time. I also have a latch hook. So this guy has like a little hook on it. So it kind of grabs hair and pulls it into the dreadlock without breaking it. So this is a little bit better to use than, than the crochet needle. I don't really get into too many of the hairstyles, unfortunately. Sometimes I'll pull my hair up in like a little bouffant um, or I'll do like a big dread bun or a couple of them up and I'll um, kind of do like a little bouffant kind of thing on the top, kind of like that. Um, I do have a dread bun that I like to do, which is I just take off my hair, I tie it up and it's all around kind of like that. And then I'll tie it with like a spear lock. This has been one thing that I've really enjoyed, which is a spear lock. A spear lock is basically like a strong wire that you're able to bend that's wrapped in felt. So it's really cool because it, you can like kind of use it to put up my hair. You can't really do put your um, hair up with like regular pointer holders just because it's so thick. So whenever you have one of these, it's really easy to kind of wrap it around and you can do like a high pony if you want to. And then you just kind of twist the ends and you have, you know, like a little ponytail. Another thing that I do tend to use because I do like to brush up my loose ends are like little flea combs. I got this one from like the pet store. Don't look at it. It looks terrible. The teeth on these will look crazy because I'm basically picking out my hair. But I do that 
like uh, like once every three days, I just kind of brush the ends just because I want to keep them loose or else they'll try to like suck themselves up into the dreadlock. Uh, so I do use a pet comb. So again, I, I wash them, Mog Trompa and Dr. Bronner's. I put some oil in them um, on the roots. Um, when they're wet, I palm roll them with aloe vera gel. And sometimes I'll lay my edges. Sometimes I'll use like a little bit of gel and kind of just like soften the edges around my hair. Don't do it all the time. I haven't done it today, but I do like the look of it. it kind of makes everything look a little cleaner. And then I live in this stuff. So I love my tightening spray. All right, and I think that's all the products. So again, I don't use very many. So now let's talk about some pros and cons to having dreadlocks. Some of the pros, let's talk about them. You wake up with amazing hair. Pro number two, very minimal. Don't do any heat styling. There's no like a million steps and products. It's a very, it's a style, it's a vibe. It, it really does add to a certain fashion sense. Dreads are very spiritual as well. A lot of, a lot of different religions um, see locked hair as a, a, a vessel you know, for the spirituality. But it also just goes with all kinds of different styles. It's a very freeing hairstyle. You wake up and it's just you. And this is what I really like. I was really craving that instead of so much superficiality to my hair. I just wanted it to like be me. And I feel like I really am me and this is gonna be a style that's gonna be with me for the rest of my life. I'll go into some cons, which there are quite a few cons. Um, they're hot. So I live in Florida again. I was talking about how it's so hot all the time. The, it's, it's hot, you're, you're, going, you're going to sweat. Um, also, having buns on top of your head, it's a little painful. It's a little heavy and my head feels like a bobble head sometimes. Sleeping's very uncomfortable. I have to physically push my family off my hair most of the time. My husband will try to cuddle me and I'm like, get off my hair, get off! <laughs> so that's another thing. Um, the drying, I don't, I don't find washing them very hard because I mainly just wash my scalp. I don't put too much in my actual lock. So I just wash my scalp, whatever, it's not that bad. It does get a little heavy when the water is like soaked into it because it's like a sponge. But the drying, again, it takes at least four to eight hours to dry your hair. But then it bounces out where you don't have to wash it as much. Getting dressed, getting dressed is an issue. It used to be an issue because I've always had long hair and it's, you know, it's always been kind of difficult, but this is different. These are, this is like Velcro. It will stick to your jacket, stick to your zippers. It like, I'll put a shirt on and like, I'm pulling it, like, I'm like stuck. My head is in my shirt and I'm stuck together. It's a lot. Getting dressed is not one of my favorite things. All right, so another con is um, sometimes you'll see like little white specks inside of your dreads. I thought I was getting like dandruff or something. It turns out it's just the follicle from your hair that does doesn't fall because it's getting locked into your hair and sometimes you'll have follicles left in your dreadlocks. I will brush my dreadlocks sometimes like with a boar bristle brush just to kind of get them off but yeah you'll sometimes see follicles left in your locks which is kind of strange. Working out's kind of hard. Working out's a little hard because it's just so heavy. You're like moving and you're doing jumps and all kinds of stuff and you'll, you can fear, feel it like banging against your back all the time. Working out's a little hard but again my spear lock is what saves me with working out. It really does keep them up and away. When I don't want to tie them around themselves as a hair tie, this is what I would use. So another pro is the fact that you can tie your hair up with your own hair. So you, you don't need hair elastics or anything like that. You take, just take two locks from either side and you just literally tie them and then you have a um, kind of like a hairstyle getting your hair out of your face and you don't even need a hair elastic. So that's kind of neat. On the downside of that, it does kind of pull your scalp a little bit whenever you use your own lock as a hair tie. Another con and pro would be the attention that you get. Uh, I get a lot of attention no matter what just because I look like this. A lot of people will stop you, ask you about your hair, ask if it's real, ask if, uh, just like tell you what to do with your hair or what you should, shouldn't put in them. It's some strange things. Uh, people will touch them without asking all the time and I just think that's so rude. The attention is a, is a positive and a negative. Um, a lot of people come up and just love your hair and just compliment you and ask you about it. Of course, everyone has like the same kind of questions. If you wash your hair, uh, how long did it take? How long, you know, all, all these kind of like, like things that you just have to continually um, talk about. But hey, people are curious and I'd rather that than just people making slide remarks under their breath and shooting me daggers just because, you know, I, I look a different way. And that is it. Thanks guys for sticking around and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions, leave them down below. I will answer you back the best as I can. I just really do appreciate everyone who's still with me after this kind of channel switch and change. You are very much appreciated. Just shoot me a little message if you guys have any more questions and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Unpleasant dreams.